Why does Bitcoin have a cap? And what does it actually mean for its value now and into the future? Stick with me, because I'm gonna break it all down without the technical jargon. Let's start with the basics. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. That's it. No more can ever be created. Why? Well, because it's programmed into Bitcoin's code. This isn't some arbitrary decision. It's what makes Bitcoin scarce kind of like gold, but digital, hence the words digital gold. Think about it. Anything that gets hard to get like limited edition sneakers, front row concert tickets, they tend to be more valuable. The same principle applies to Bitcoin. By limiting the supply, the creator or creators ensured it wouldn't lose value through overproduction, something that traditional currencies simply can't promise. But here's where things get even more interesting. New Bitcoin, they don't just pop into existence from nowhere. It's released slowly through a process that's called mining. And every four years, the amount of Bitcoin that miners can generate and earn get cut in half. Now, this is called a halving. The halving is like getting a smaller slice of the Bitcoin pie every few years, right? Over time, these slices get so small that no more Bitcoin will ever be created. Now, the final Bitcoin uh, is expected to be mined in around the year 2140. So we've got a little bit of time to go yet. Now, let's compare that to regular money or fiat currency. Governments can simply just print as much of that as they want. And when they do, it devalues the money that is already in circulation. Now with Bitcoin, the fixed supply acts as a built-in inflation shield, one of the reasons it's sometimes called digital gold. Now, this doesn't mean Bitcoin is perfect. There are other factors at play, like price volatility and energy concerns, but its limited supply is a key reason why people see it as a store of value and why it's earned such a dedicated following over time. So that's the story of Bitcoin's limited supply. All right, now if you've got any questions or thoughts, please drop them into the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you're into learning more about Bitcoin or crypto, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything that we teach. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.